Hello, St. Christopher's. It's Reverend John coming to you from the attic. Just want to say good morning to you all and uh, remind you that you are missed. It has been well over a month now since we've gathered together, and I miss you. It's National Volunteer Week, and uh, you may remember last year that the staff at St. Christopher's went out of its way to throw a, a gala last year, really an opportunity to say thanks to, to all the people who uh, give of their time and their talents and their treasures. And it was quite a party. I mean, we're good at that, right? As Anglicans, we love our food and we love gathering together. So it, it's rather sad that, that we're not able to do that again this year. I was looking forward to having some celebration with you. And it is something that we continue to look forward to. As a priest, it's been difficult over the last uh, month or so, not gathering with the church, with my people, really, uh, around the table. I've been struggling, and even though the bishop has asked us to fast from this, well, my heart yearns. And so I was thinking uh, today, as I was reading through scripture, uh, I came across uh, Luke uh, chapter 22, uh, where the story of the Last Supper is told. And, and I was caught by this uh, little phrase at the end of the story. It, it's in verse 27. Jesus is uh, just talking with the disciples. And uh, he says at the end of the story here, uh, Who is more important, the one who sits at the table or the one who serves? The one who sits at the table, of course, but not here, not in this time, not at the Last Supper, actually. For I am among you as one that serves. And that phrase just sort of sat with me as one that serves, the way that Jesus describes his leadership, the way that he describes his being with the disciples. Well, it draws an obvious parallel for those of us who give of our time to the church. We model what Jesus has asked of us as one that serves. And so we want to say thank you as the church, as staff, as the corporation, as the community gathered, to say thank you for all that you do to make the ministries of the church and our open doors work. It is the thing that makes us different than a lot of other places. We attempt to live into the words that Jesus wants us to live by as one that serves. So as you go about your week, I want you to call to mind all the ways that you continue to serve, whether that's volunteering through other organizations or, or through the body of Christ. Because I want to say thank you from the very bottom of my heart for all that you do and all that you have and all that you offer. May God bless you this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may God be with you this day and forevermore. Amen.